Hi, and welcome to the setup guide for the starter turntable system. My name is Gabby, and I'm here to walk you through the six steps it takes to get your system up and running. The six key steps are setting up your turntable, connecting your speakers, connecting your amplifier, playing your first record, streaming music from your phone, and lastly, troubleshooting. When setting up your turntable, what you're gonna need from the box is the turntable, the felt mat, the RCA cable, the belt, the power supply, and the lid. Remove the cardboard insert between the platter and the body. Next, install the drive belt. This part can be a little bit fiddly if it's your first time, so be patient with yourself. Use one hand to anchor the belt around the small run of the motor pulley, while using your other hand to guide it around the outer edge of the platter. Give it a spin so that the belt stabilizes itself, and pop on the lid. Flipping the turntable around and looking at the back of it, Install the RCA cable, matching red with red and white with white. Don't forget to connect the grounding spade also. That concludes the setup of our turntable. Now let's move on to something a little bit more simple, the speakers. In the starter turntable system, you have three options of speaker. The monitor 50, the monitor 100s, and the Monitor 200 speakers. In this scenario, we're gonna show you how to set up the Monitor 100 speakers. You'll notice on the back that there are four terminals. In our scenario, we're only gonna utilize two of them. Unscrewing the red terminal first, insert one half of the speaker cable. Now, on the diagonal, insert the other half. I like to set up my speaker cables this way because there's less chance for the positive and negative speaker cables to touch each other. Now let's connect your speakers and your turntable to the amplifier. Flipping the amplifier around, you will notice that all of the inputs have a label. Firstly, let's connect the turntable RCA to the phono input. Don't forget to connect the grounding spade also. Next up, we're gonna connect our speaker cable to our amplifier. Remember to make sure that you're connecting the red from the speaker to the red of the amplifier. There's even a label showing you which is your left speaker and which is your right. All right, everything's all set up. Let's play our first record. Make sure that the power is connected for the amplifier and the turntable. Don't forget to switch it on at the wall. Press the power on button at the front of the amplifier and select the phono source. Now place your record on the platter, turn the turntable on, make sure the tone arm lifter is in the upright position and cue up your tone arm. And away we go. If you chose Bluetooth as an optional extra on your starter turntable system, now is the time to connect it. First up, connect the Bluetooth box E to your amplifier. We've plugged it into auxiliary one. On the front of the amplifier, make sure your power is on and select auxiliary one on the source selector. Now, on your phone, go to the Bluetooth settings and select BT box E, and you're connected. A couple of common troubleshooting issues that we come across are very easy to fix. Here they are. If you have an issue where the amplifier all of a sudden is turning off, that's what we call protection mode. The most common reason for this is that your speaker cables are connecting somewhere. That's where the positive and the negative are making connection with each other. And amplifiers really don't like this. Make sure that all of your connections are nice and tidy. While playing a record, if you hear this sound, you have an earthing problem. An easy fix for this is to disconnect the grounding spade from either your turntable or your amplifier. If 
you have the monitor 100 or 200 speakers and you're having a little bit of difficulty hearing out of one of the channels, it could be because the bridging terminal is no longer connected. Make sure that the bridging bar is connected securely. And that's just about everything you need to know about the starter turntable system. If you need more advice, you can find us on live chat at instantclassic.com.au. You can email us directly at support at instantclassic.com.au. You can WhatsApp message us or call us on 03 9426 3651. And you can follow us on social media. Happy spinning, guys.